Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is a bit of a different video from what I normally post on my channel, but I don't care because I think that this is super cool. If this is accurate and legitimate that I actually solved here. So let me give a brief backstory for those of you who maybe don't know what's going on since I typically post Yu-Gi-Oh! related content. Um, but essentially, this is a cipher that was in Black Ops 3 Zombies that came out years ago. And this is one of the unsolved ciphers on the Revelation Zombies map. So with all that out of the way, hello Zombies community. My name is AvriLR32. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. Um, I feel like that this video is going to blow up if what I did is actually accurate. And I want to preference this by saying that... I pretty much don't know anything when it comes to solving ciphers. Like I've tried to dabble in it in the past and like try and get into the community and it's just so over my head. And so what I ended up deciding to do, like just for the lulls, I'm bored tonight. I'm like, you know what? I figured let me try and solve this cipher just on a whim. Like let's just see what we can do. So I don't know if my screen recording is going to go to what I used, but let me go ahead and do a quick jump cut here and show you what I did. I feel like it's going to probably get me some hate, but when unsolved ciphers go unsolved for years, you got to use everything at your disposal. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I used chat GPT. Now, I'm sure some people are going to say, Avery, that's not accurate. There's no way that this worked. You're cheating the system. You know, Treyarch didn't intend for us to solve these through chat GPT. When Black Ops 3 came out, chat GPT wasn't even a thing at the time, as far as I know. But I figured, I don't know anything about solving ciphers. Let me just try it. So I ended up taking the that image that you saw at the beginning of the video. I li yeah, literally, yes, I typed out every single symbol uh, that was in that damn cipher, and I threw it in a chat GPT. And so chat GPT was like, well, here's what it comes out to. Let's try the frequency of the characters, blah, blah, blah. And it says it may be base 64, but it's like, it's it's hard to say. And I'm like, well, how is it not base 64? And then it says, I apologize for any confusion. It seems that the provided ciphertext is indeed encoded in base 64. Let's proceed by decoding the encoded message. And what we get is Turing's machine was never built, but the universal Turing machine can solve any mathematical problem given a long enough tape M. Now this M, if you're familiar with the Call of Duty storyline, would be either Monty or Maxis. I'm going to assume that this is Maxis in this particular cipher, because remember, this is on Revelations. We already have a cipher that's been solved, that's been proven, or I guess is majority of the community has agreed that it's Dr. Monty. I believe that because that this is focusing on a Turing machine, that it's Maxis. Now, I asked ChatGPT, what the hell is a Turing machine? Because as soon as I saw Turing machine, I'm like, oh, it probably wasn't even right. Like, ChatGPT doesn't know what it is. But a Turing machine's actually a real thing. And what a Turing machine is, is that it's a theoretical concept in computer science and mathematics introduced by the mathematician and computer scientist Alan Turing in the 1930s. It serves as a fundamental theoretical model for computation and helps in understanding the limits and capabilities of computing devices. At its core, a Turing machine is an abstract computational device with the following components, tape, read and write head, and a finite state control. You can pause the video and read all this if you want. I want to go back down here to the bottom where it actually talks about the cipher. And ChatGPT says, The statement, Turing's machine was never built, but the universal Turing machine can solve any mathematical problem given a long enough tape, refers to the idea that while a physical Turing machine was never practically constructed because it just can't exist, the theoretical concept of a universal Turing machine demonstrates that a single abstract machine can simulate the behavior of any other other Turing machine, making it a powerful model for understanding computation and solving various problems. So now you can see where I said I have another base 64 cipher because now I'm trying to solve another cipher with it <laughs> that also went unsolved. So what makes me wonder just in the storyline lore of it all is what if the uh, portal, uh, teleporter, whatever it is that you want to call it, that our heroes use to go to like Zetsubonoshima, Gorod, Krovi, and all that. What if that was like a Turing machine? I don't remember off the top of my head in the zombie storyline if that was considered to be a Turing machine or if Turing machines have ever been brought up elsewhere in the storyline. It could also be Dr. Monty. I mean, what if it's Monty just 
I don't know, saying something random like this, um, you know, because maybe his powers, you know, with how godly he is, maybe, I don't know, he built a Turing machine in his backyard. I don't know while having a cookout. <laughs> but I think more than anything, if this checks out with the community, I mean, I could totally be off kilter with this. I mean, I could be making myself look like an ass and like, this is just totally not right. But who knows? You know, maybe this ends up on Dalek JD's channel. I mean, I, I don't know. Or Raffle Waffles, you know. I'm sure Mr. Raffle Waffles will tell me if I'm right on this or not. <laughs> but um, I think it's Maxis. Like, if all this checks out with the rest of the community and like, they're like, yeah, this is legitimate. Um, I, I think that it's Maxis. Um, I could also be sounding like an idiot because maybe this already got solved and the COD Zombies wiki page just never updated the page. So this has been solved for a long time, but I haven't seen Dalek JD talk about it. I haven't seen Raffle Waffles talk about it. I haven't seen anybody talk about it. Um, so as far as I know, this has never been solved. And if it has been solved and someone says, hey, look, this has already been solved, I'll just take down this video because I don't want to make it look like I'm, I'm clickbaiting. I'm genuinely just trying to like help the community do something because I'm, I'm new. I'm, I'm the noob in all this. Like I've played zombies for years. I know the storyline. Um, but I've never done any sort of cipher solving and it, it kind of feels dirty that I'm using chat GPT. I'm sure some people will hate me for that, but like, I don't know how to solve ciphers. I'm not a, you know, a college professor. So I figured I would just give it a shot. I think that it's Maxis maybe like making a note, maybe when he's testing with the teleporter at some point, he just says Turing machine was never built, blah, blah, blah. You know, maybe this was something that, you know, was like a, I don't know, a saying that he had on his house wall while he's having dinner with Samantha Maxis. I don't know. I'm just kind of blowing smoke at my butt at this point. But if all this does check out and like the community says, yeah, this is actually what it is, I can officially say I solved a Call of Duty Cypher. And I think that that's really, really cool, especially because I loved Black Ops 3. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm sorry that this is kind of a, a pull away from my typical videos, but don't worry, we're going to be getting back to doing stuff like that. I just want to make this really quick video and kind of get the community's thoughts on it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.